What's wrong? Why don't they like the dog park? It's almost as if they were afraid of something. Oh, what's in here to be afraid of? I don't think they're afraid. I think they're hungry. I can tell when Cinepup has that give-me-treats look in her eye. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a give-me-treats look. More like a I-don't-want-to-go-in-there look. Trust me, I know exactly how to get them to come in. <laughs> and get it. <laughs> 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 And if we don't figure out what's bothering the dogs, by the time our tea party gets started, your ice sculpture's gonna be slushing around in a bucket. Okay, now, let's not jump to conclusions. No need to jump. The answer is staring us right in the face. Or should I say, in the nose. Nose? Uh... Lemon, what are you talking about? Close your eyes and take a sniff. <sighs> <sighs> What do you smell? Freshly mowed lawn. Flowers. Exactly. Boring! A dog lives by his nose. And to a dog's nose, this park is just one big yawn. Fortunately, I have the perfect solution. I'll be right back. <laughs> My very big super sensational scent dispenser. I've been working on it for weeks. Was gonna have its grand debut in my salon, but now's as good a time as any. It sniffs the air and automatically calculates the right amount of scent that should be sprayed to make everything smell perfectly sensational. Says this place needs a whiff of raspberry and just a smidgen of cherry. Hmm. Too much raspberry, I think. Hey, still working out the bugs, you know. Oh, what's wrong? Need some help? Oh, thanks, Orange. Here, let me help. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Lemon, what's wrong with it? Huh? I don't know. Uh, Lemon, can you shut it off? I don't know how. 
<laughs> okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm -hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot! A witch is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! <laughs> Should do it. All righty, Earl. Let's get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> hey, I think I left my skittle jinx by the cable cue joint. <laughs> what was that? talking about were you eating toast no no it attacked me oh you were attacked by a piece of toast well ed i'm i'm, I'm only telling you what happened i don't know how she can stand it who can stand what strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's you know haunted 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 there's no such thing earl Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to... Wait for me! You stay up there. <sighs> Let the treasure hunt begin! Yay! <laughs> the first clue is, I'm open in the morning, closed at night. I am blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Blue. Hmm. Oh, I know. Could it be Blueberry's bookstore? Her store is open in the morning and closed at night. What do you think, Cherry Jam? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted about that song I'm supposed to be working on. Come on, Cherry. Get in the spirit. We need your help to win the treasure hunt. You're right, Orange. Okay, let's see. Blueberry's bookstore? Well, it's not closed all the time at night. It's open sometimes at night for book club and, and Barrican story time. And Berry Bitty City is off limits for the treasure hunt, so I don't think they would have hidden the next treasure there. Blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Why would it be glorious to be blue all the time? You know, blue isn't sad. Because you're Blueberry? Hmm. I don't know. If it's not Blueberry, who is blue all the time? Mm -hmm. I know. Glorious. Glory. <gasps> A morning glory flower. And I know where they grow. <laughs> <laughs> for me to adopt Hannah. Hannah? What happened to the Dalmatian? Doesn't Cinepop have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? 
What do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll take oh, you with the Huckleberry. <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. Coming up, or down. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments of Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... Uh, electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy. Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy. No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch. I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. about the, uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry! There was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespolina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. 
You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Oh. Well done. You did. Hey, such a try. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. for you. I never knew you were such a badminton ace. Neither did I. Great shot. Wow. Yes. You are so good at horseshoes. Oh, just lucky. Have the wall finished. The Berrykins are finishing installing the sprinklers now. The playground's already done. Will it be ready for the grand opening? Oh, yeah. We're ahead of schedule. All that's left is the big entry, and it'll be... <laughs> Cherry, what's the matter? My good luck. Charm, I can't, can't find it anywhere. What's it look like, Cherry? This big, on a chain, crystal, beautiful, all sparkly, and I can't sing at all without it. Cherry, you know you can sing. You don't need luck for that. But I do, Strawberry. I can't hit the high notes without it. Come on, Cinnapup. Look for it, girl. Find it. Remember, Cherry, we make our own luck with practice. Right, Huck? Huckleberry? Oh, Tom Tom, I know it's hers, but it's lucky for me, too. If I give it back, I'll be a klutz forever. It's gone, Cinnapup. It's gone. Cherry, hold on. Hi, Huck. What's up? I just... I wanted to tell you... You... Want to get some lunch? I don't really feel like it. Thanks. Are you still upset about losing that... thing? Mm-hmm. My lucky charm. Maybe Strawberry was right. Maybe you don't need it. I tried to hit that high note without it. I couldn't. Cherry? Cherry, listen. Oh. I need to tell you something about that. Yo, Mr. Huckleberry, sir! Big news! Very big news! <clears throat> the Perrykin Builders Guild has decided to make you an honorary member of the Society of Extraordinary Engineers. Congratulations, boss! A rare honor indeed, richly deserved by such a talented builder. That's fantastic, Huck. Don't know what to say, but I don't deserve this. Really, I don't. No one deserves it more. Nonsense! <laughs> Let's go see Strawberry. Thank you. 
I have... What? What is it? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, um, I really want you girls to try my new aromatherapy herbal eye masks, okay? Now, <laughs> close your eyes and just <laughs> focus on the delightful scent. <laughs> now, I need you to relax, Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and <laughs> I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. <laughs> Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? Batter Basics and Basics of Berry Flawless Baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! on! I've got our ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. 
Mmm, it's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom. After all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh! Great idea! What could we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Cherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect! Great idea, Strawberry! Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever! Hmm, now how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, my jam. <laughs> nice one, Plum. Thank you, Orange. <laughs> oh. Well, hello there, Plum. Huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine. I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash stage play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know... I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Very Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Bear King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this. This. This will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls, and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't. I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Mirror, mirror, tell me who my is command. Ferris, tell me who is land. very fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. hmm. Um. <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? 
Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Mm -hmm. Berry Kinvani, simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, Bob lolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Ah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. Uh, good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People, people, all right. That's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh?